Hello everyone, this is Katie Colleen here. Welcome back Colleen Clan, or if you are new, then come join the family. I'm gonna be showing you how I made my Queen Serenity wings, though I think with some modifications, these could also work for Princess Serenity or any variety of fairy wings. So let's get into it. For the materials, we will need some wire. I'm using 16 gauge wire for my wings. I would recommend just using the thickest wire that you can still bend with your hands. For the actual wings material, I have this shiny sparkly organza. It's key to pick a fabric that is really, really lightweight. So you want to avoid sequins and beads, anything that could weigh down the wire. I'm going to start by making a wire skeleton of this wing. <laughs> and I'm going to make a U shape at the center. This is very important for attaching the wings later. Now I went with about 27 inches long for each of my wings and I'm just connecting both the top and bottom wings at the center here. And since I am using two separate strings of steel, I am also making sure to wrap the wires around each other so it will act as one wing piece. After lots of wrapping and bending and reinforcing, it's going to look something like this. It kind of becomes this weird metal spider Doc Ock inspired look. <laughs> Let's talk about attachments. So the way that these wings are going to attach is the little U shape that we made at the center is going to slide into the back of the dress, the shirt, the bra, whatever. With Queen Serenity's dress, she does canonically wear a strapless dress, so there is space to slide these wings into the back. Now that I got to see our wireframe in relation to a person, <laughs> I decided it was a bit too long, so I ended up folding this back down. I felt like this was just a little bit too much for Queen Serenity. Once you have your wireframe how you like it, we can start working on the actual wings. So I'm going to get some paper to pattern our wings out and I'm gonna lay our wireframe on top of that and we can get to patterning. Honestly, this is way more of an art than a science. I'm just looking at the reference photo of Queen Serenity and deciding what shape I want these wings to be. Once we have a wing pattern, we can cut that out and then also cut it out in our fabric. Now I ended up adding a bit more seam allowance here as well, just to be safe. Because the thing with fabric is it's much easier to cut it away than add it later. So I went with about half an inch of seam allowance all around my pattern. I'll be making four wings for Queen Serenity and I want each of those wings to have two pieces of fabric. The fabric I'm using is lightweight enough. I felt that I could use two pieces of fabric for each wing and it would make it look more flowy and magical. So that means I'll be cutting out eight of these pieces. Now, because I have two fabric pieces for each wing, I'm going to sew the top seam on the wing so that these two pieces still act as one wing. And I'm just doing a straight stitch on my sewing machine to add those layers together. The fabric I chose for these wings does fray and it is not a good magical look. So I'm doing a rolled hem on all of the edges of this fabric. A rolled hem is done with a serger on the rolled hem setting. Now not everybody has a serger, so if your fabric is also fraying, another option is just folding over the edge of the fabric so that the frayed ends are encased in fabric and then sewing that down. I did end up using this method for the bottom part of the wing just because it was really too small of a fabric section to easily rolled hem it. Once all of the edges have been finished in some method, I'm going to add the casing channel. So while as the wings are now, I could drape them onto our wire structure, I want something a little bit more secure. It would make more sense to have a channel at the top of the wings that we can thread the wire through. So on my wings, I'm doing a straight stitch about an inch away from that top seam. If you only have one piece of fabric for your wing, you could also just fold over the top and create a casing that way. And now I can put our wings onto our wire frame by threading the wire through our fabric casing. 
Well, this stayed pretty well with just the casing. I also wanted a little bit of extra reinforcement, especially for those bottom wings, which seemed like they might slide off. So I took my hot glue gun and I added just a little blob of hot glue at the base of each wing and glued the fabric onto the base. Now, while I designed these wings to be able to fit into the back of a Queen Serenity dress, I'm a wheelchair user. So instead I wanted to have these wings go onto the back of my wheelchair. So I created a wheelchair harness. This is just elastic pieces sewed together that goes onto the back of my wheelchair. And these wings also just slide right into the harness, no problem. The thing I love about this method of making wings is it's super easy, it's super fast, it's lightweight, and it's really, really durable. I loved that I was able to just throw these wings in a corner and they'd get all bent out of shape and I could just bend them back. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!